Check it, check, 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 one, two. Charlie of You Heard It Here First in My Beer for Tonight, both on Twitter, also on YouTube, also on iTunes, also on SoundCloud, also on your Facebook timeline. If you see the video, share the video. If you see the videos, share the videos. If you happen to slow day in the office and you need something to listen to via SoundCloud or iTunes, please subscribe to You Heard It Here First for anything sports, anything beer, because we all know You Heard It Here First is the official sports, beer, and sober thoughts podcast. And right now I have a sober thoughts conversation that I want to have with you. On August 4th, August 5th, Block 15 Brewing Company, Great Notion Brewing Company, both in Oregon, decided to re-release Peach Punch You in the Eye, an IPA brewed with peaches and apricots. So you mean to tell me for the second time, the brewers of Block 15 linked up with my second favorite brewery, Brewers, Great Notion, my man James, my man Andy. Shout out to both James and Andy. I mean, you guys are two real, legit, down-to-earth brewers that I've met in all of PDX. You guys are down-to-earth, legit guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I have a relationship with you guys. And also, shout out to Paul. Paul, you are the homie. By far, the connection of the three, I have the better connection with you. You're the homie. Now, honestly, I'm not sure what influence the guys over at Block 15 and the guys over at Great Notion to group or even create Peach Punch You in the Eye. Not sure what influence it. What I can say I've been around the block a few times. Pause. Meaning, I've just had this beer a few times, okay? Uh, that's kind of sounded weird, but whatever. Um, this isn't my first time trying Peach Punch. Uh, just going back to 2016 when it was initially released, I remember the beer being hazy. And at that time, the only hazy beers I, were, I was drinking was brewed by great notion that was like my first taste of haze this great notion so it poured up like hazy look you know i'm saying had that hazy look to it had that juice like look to it um it was very peachful i don't even think peachful is a word but it was very peachful um it had this fluffy white head You know what I'm saying? I'm just going back thinking of the picture that I snapped in 2016. So it was was peachful, peachy looking, um, orange juice looking, had a nice white fluffy head, um, smelled awesome. You know, I got orange, um, I got tangerine-ish smell, uh, tropical-like smell, citrusy-like smell, all those beer smells that everyone seems to pick up in a fruit forward IPA, everyone, and I mean everyone, but anyways, that was that, so, uh, nice, white, fluffy, pillowy head, uh, I got that, like I said, the orange, tangerine-ish, tropical, citrusy smell, and it drank extremely smooth, and I mean extremely smooth, I don't recall the beer, at least now I don't recall it being bitter and the reason why I say that because I'm drinking I've had this 2017 version a total of three times now all right twice on site at block 15 I guess you could say near Oregon State and then the South Town block 15 I had it and it was bittery bittery and then I, I had it about an hour ago this can here 
bittery, bittery, bittery. But that's not a bad thing. Just I'm, I've noticed that it's a little bitter than what I recall it being last year. But that was last year. Um, so, like I said, it, it drank extremely smooth. And what I would compare it to is, let's just say you, you grabbed a glass, this glass right here, all right? You poured fresh squeeze orange juice, light pulp orange juice. So you light pulp, you pour it in here. And then from there, you get peach juice, but not necessarily peach juice, just a syrup from peaches in a can. Pour it in, okay? Boom, that's number two. Then you get a little zest from an orange, zest, get a little zest from a lemon, maybe a little zest from a lime. And then you take a little triples of the lime, triples of the lemon, and boom, peach punch you and I, there it is right there. Obviously, you got to throw hops in there or whatever the case may be. But to me, that's what it drank like. That's what it tastes like. Almost like something you can just go up to Jama Juice or like a smoothie place and like, I want everything he just said in the video in my cup. And they'll do it. And you walk away, you sip it, and it feels like you're on some kind of tropical island. But now in 2017, something was different. And when I say something is different, I don't mean bad different. I mean just like something was different about the beer. All right. And the first thing I'm going to say is last year when I got Peach Punch, I was only able to get one four pack. That was it. I sent one can to a homie in Boston area. I gave one can to my lady, gave one can to myself. And then we like shared a can between myself, her and her good friend. So I only had, I guess you could say, 16, maybe like 20 ounces of this beer. So that's probably why I'm somewhat confused because I wasn't able to consistently drink the beer. So that's why this isn't a, a beer review. This is more of a, a reaction or, or, or post reaction after having 2017's Peach Punch You in the Eye brewed by Block 15 and Great Notion. Post reaction. 2016, I was floored and I was highly upset that I was only able to get four cans. I honestly didn't think this one off was going to be a two off the following year. I'm glad. I'm looking forward to 2018 because now I've done my homework, I've figured a few things out, and I'm going to study these cans I have to see what 2018 brings. So when I'm telling you about this beer based on 2016 here to 2017, it's not negative. It's all positive. It's just changed. But this change is probably because I didn't consume enough to have a definite answer on how this beer looks, how it tastes, and how it smells. Now, I guess you can say, look, taste, smell, I, I do. But not long term, it was just that day. And then that was it. So between the almost, I guess you can say, uh, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15. Between the 15 cans I'm going to have at home, I'll get to enjoy it more. Two, I guess provide a better analysis of the beer next year or in a couple weeks. But right now, you know what I'm saying? Now that I've talked, let's get into the actual can artwork. So you got Block 15 Brewing Company, Great Notion Brewing Company in gold, like plated gold. Then you have the peach with the busted up eye, missing tooth or gold tooth somewhere down there. It's got his punching gloves on, he's ready to fight. And then you got that you in the eye, that's like burnt orange color. And then you have peach punch and like this, I guess I wanna say navy blue. And then you have the powder blue San Diego Chargers wrap around it. And then you got this other stuff. So hopefully I can get this on correctly. Let's see if we get you guys a good, a good look here of this can artwork. It's pretty dope. Now, I don't remember, I mean, I don't think the can artwork changed much. It looks the same to me. Um, just notes, you know, founded in 2008, Block 15 is a brewer owned and operated. They self-sufficient 
efficient doing things on their own uh, for any upcoming events tap list and or bottle offerings just visit block15.com same way with, with, with great notion brewing greatnotionpdx.com for all the information they have an instagram page they have a twitter they have a facebook page same with block 15 they got twitter instagram and facebook so you can find stuff there um 2017 they just you know put you know so nice we brewed it twice obviously uh block 15 have teamed up once again to brew this special ale blending techniques and ideas from both breweries block 15 and great notion uh, peach punch is a luscious fruit forwarded IPA fermented with peaches and apricots and dry hop with massive amounts of galaxy and mosaic hops. So you have that and independent artisans beer and all this other stuff. So 16 ounce canvases, 7% ABV. It's brewed and canned at Block 15 Brewing in Core Vallis, Oregon. So now look at the can again. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I can get that. Sometimes I jack this up, but hopefully not now. Set that there. Uh, not, I guess you don't say this isn't proper glassware, but we got the great notion. It's the latest glassware they have. This logo is dope right here. I like this logo better than the original logo. So, so you got, this is logo as well. And then you got this joint right here. This joint right here is dope. I'm, I'm, I really like this one. I did this one. So let's go ahead and get this puppy open. Mm. Probably because I was just moving around. Some drippage going on, but that's all right. And do some off camera. I don't really like doing this on camera. It's kind of weird looking, but okay. All right. So let's go ahead and pour this up. So you can see what I'm talking about. Especially if you had this beer before. Hopefully I can get you guys a good pour. And I was able to get you a good pour. It's mad aggressive right there. I'm gonna slow up right about now. Yeah, that's an aggressive pour. Mm. I'm about an inch ahead though, it's not bad. So I guess, like I said, the number one thing that got me wondering when I noticed the beer today in a natural lighting setting looking at my picture and also noticing the beer again now just to me it's just not as dark as it was last year I don't think I put a filter on that picture because I was out at the pool beautiful lighting I don't think I would have needed a filter but maybe I did, and that's the reason why the beer isn't as dark as I expect it to be. I'm still getting that white pillowy head there, you know what I'm saying? It's disseminating now. But it's still there. As far as smell, this beer still smells beautiful. Smells beautiful. Can't take that away. Beer smells beautiful. Give you guys a close up. Pour it up a little bit more and give you guys a close up. Closer. Look, so. All right, so this is what we have. Get that logo in there straight for me. This is exactly what we have. Boom. This is Peach Punch. I mean, in some cases, it looks similar to last year, but I still think the beer is just a little lighter than it was last year. That's just me. I could be wrong. So, like I said, this was more of a, a post reaction to Peach Punch 2017 versus 2016. And I think that's about it. I mean, I have nothing else to say, really. Only other thing I do have to say is we got eight cans here for my lady, which I don't think she's going to consume. 
Got a four pack that I need to get to my buddy in Oceanside. I got four cans below, plus two, six cans right there. So do a little giveaway for all my people that pay attention, especially if you got through this video. What I need you to do to have your name placed in a drawing to receive two, two cans of peach punch. Number one, what you need to do, you need to subscribe to You Heard It Here First, a sports, beer, and sober thoughts podcast, the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's all you have to do. You subscribe to the YouTube channel, you're good. Once you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you go to my Instagram profile. Remember the solution. You find the initial post of Peach Punch from 2016. And you leave a comment, I've subscribed, I want two cans. That's all you have to do. Subscribe on YouTube, find the initial post. I subscribe, I want two cans. The reason why I say initial post because I posted this once and just on Thursday, I did a throwback Thursday of this beer because the following day it was gonna release. So you do that starting Sunday, Sunday, August 6th. My next podcast is going to be on Tuesday, the 8th. I'll reveal the winner. So I'm going to run it from Sunday. I'm going to run it on Monday. And I'll run it on Tuesday. And I'll reveal the winner on Wednesday. So it'll be a two-day deal, Sunday to Tuesday. Subscribe, check, go to the Instagram profile, I subscribe, I want two cans, random drawing, I'm going to kill it on Tuesday, and then Wednesday, when I podcast, I'll reveal the winner, and I'll connect with the winner, so, um, I think that's about it, I think I owe a homeboy a chug, so, it's not 16 ounces, um, in one, but, gotta do what I gotta do, so, here we go. It's like juice like I mean maybe it's starting to wear on maybe maybe it is like this last year I don't know but cheers <sighs> cheers Beer is crushable. <laughs> Extremely crushable. All right. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for chilling with me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, share, do all those things. I'll return the favor with you. I'll support your channel. You support my channel. Instagram, I'll support that. If you got a Facebook page, I'll support that. Twitter, I'll support that. I love the support. I love to give the support. And it's not that fake support just to receive support. There's a lot of beer tube channels that I follow faithfully. And granted, I produce a lot of beer content myself. I'm still out there supporting the other individuals in the beer tube community and also the sports tube community as well. So that's it. I'm out. Uh, it's about almost 11.30. I got a mess to clean up here in the house. I got to get ready to get to bed. The family and I have a busy Sunday tomorrow. Y'all be blessed. Stay blessed. Charlie from You Heard It Here first. Peace.